Cut. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and thank you local, wonderful, appreciate you. So, you know what? You get the idea from the title of this video, but it is time for me to do some little refreshing work when it comes to the sheriff's office, something I've not done in a great while. Why? Honestly, I love the stuff we have, but it is time for a change. As you can see from the uniforms, Los Santos County is reverting back to LSSD. Not entirely. The cars will not change too much, but the uniforms, I I love this. It's classic, it's LA, fits the vibe, and we've not had it in a very long time. So I want to bring this back. In fact, most of my department want to bring it back as well in terms of command staff. We think it's cool. It'll be a nice change, something different, and vests are no longer permanently required. But the cars, yes, the cars will be changing slightly. Not a huge amount because I want to just refresh them. So the overall design is remaining. What we're doing today is doing that. Now this might not be the final version, but I'm going to show you how I go about doing liveries, doing graphics for cars, and in this particular case, turning an old classic into a new favorite. And um, before we go anywhere, sneak preview of Blaine County? I think so. Obviously the Stripes will change colour. I've not fixed those yet, but... Have any of you seen this series, Reacher? The uniform they had in that show. I loved that. I thought it'd be a really cool change. So the brown on cream with a white a cream, a brown stripe. A different patch. Maybe throw an American flag in there. Try things a little different. Look a little bit more small town sheriff's department. I think it'll be cool. But anyway, on to the cars. Okay, so this is the existing car as we have it. It's uh, it's a thing. I like it, but you know it needs some updates. So first off, we need to start removing things we don't want. Which first off, the badge is going because I want to replace it with the correct one. So we'll do that first. Using the proper law badge because the other one has always bothered me. I don't know why I did it, but I did. So there you go. But I'll keep the old one just for that's the wrong. That's a different layer entirely from something separate. Uh, we'll keep that there. So I'm going to have to scale this back a little bit, just to make sure it's not horrifically oversized. That should do the job. Position it correctly, boom, confetti, and we'll drop it in on both spots. So that's the easy part, because, yeah, screw that, that looks much better. Although I might change Ooh. the colouring slightly on the other yellows. We'll see, we'll get to that bridge when we cross it. But for the time being, this gotta go! No, not that bit too. Yeah, when I brought everything to the new models we're using for our vehicles, most of the ones that are in-house, I did away with quite a bit of the layering because I knew I wouldn't need it, so it does make some parts a little more difficult. Now, obviously useful when you're making texture work is having the UV map as a template where you need it. So as I'm switching to some more LA features, I'll be doing just that. Which means this needs to get color inverted and scaled we'll see how horrific this looks with it's smaller that nah, looks fine okay so we're replacing the old one with this i angled it for some reason i'm not sure why i did we'll not do that this time i think it's because the whole car is angled so i might still do it just to kind of make myself feel less ocd about things but yeah there we go It was once upon a time when I actually would look at things and measure angles, but now I can just about eyeball it just fine and nail it in the first go. Comes with too much work and not enough sleep. So as we go, we're going to remove some of those old features. I want a bit of white to pop against the, the blackness, otherwise it's a bit too yellow. Right, so we have a relatively clean canvas. I'll probably replace the rear lettering once I'm done with this. But for the start, we need to work on what we're putting on the side of the car. So I can get rid of this for the time being. That's quite small, isn't it? No, we need that to be bigger. And we're not using that. So, uh, let's make sure we save things before we proceed any further. And yes, we're rolling back to LSSD, like I mentioned. Okay, 
So let's go to the beginning and see what I've got to use here. I often will do things by feel, as in I will just decide what works best and I will try things out until something fits. Sometimes they won't fit, but it's worth looking. A lot of these are going to be a bit rough for us. It's a very trial and error process whenever I'm working and I prefer to do it that way because I don't like coming in with preconceived ideas of what I'm going to create from something else. I find it looks rather bad. I also love how Jack's sitting in the background here listening yes. and not saying anything like a weirdo. Like I am a creep. <laughs> he is a creep, yes, that is accurate. Yes. Oh my god, I told you not to do that. Well, that's a shame. You, you know you're telling me to speak, so you know. I apologize to him. No, you don't. I don't. <laughs> I'm amazing. Steady. Oh yeah, let's go with that font. No. That looks beautiful. You, you've already had your artistic Comic and fashion sans. privileges revoked. So Comic even... sans. No. I am going to throw you out of this channel. <laughs> See what I have to put up with every single day? It's this wow. bad. I don't like these. I don't like those. I want something fairly straight and not particularly overdressed in terms of the actual lettering. Like the exact opposite of me, got it. Yeah, Straight exactly. and not overdressed. <laughs> That's pretty similar to what we had, I think. But it has potential, with a little flourish. Mm -hmm. Nah, it's a bit too stumpy. We'll keep it in mind, Montevi is one that's an option for now, but we're not quite sure where we're going to go with it. Do, 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 do. What do we have here? Island of Bold. No, too, too bold. Too bold! Impact is too skinny. What a queen. <laughs> yeah, you can see Jack and I are basically the same thing we are off screen. It's just as Yes. Bad. Although he does act up when he knows he's been recorded, which makes it worse. Uh -huh. Ah <laughs> ha You're like a child. I mean... Yeah. <laughs> it's more entertaining. It I'm is, the entertainment okay. factor for this video, okay? No, I'm, I'm the entertainment factor. I'm the talent here, okay? Don't forget that. Oh, let's use I am that. a shining... Yeah, let's use that phone, absolutely. <laughs> I, I am a shining star. What do you mean? I mean... No. Ah. Yeah, these aren't really fitting the vibe I'm looking for. Oh, built tiny. Oh, uh, it has potential. If I can. I like. I like. I'm spelling sheriff right, aren't I? I have these moments where yeah. my brain tells me something's written correctly, but I don't realize. It's it's if you look at something too long, it looks wrong, and then it's not. Correct. So, but, what yeah, we're going to do right. here is Built Tiling, Bold Attack. Uh, mm. I might have it. Oh. Right, so we're going to go Alpha Selection, Side Grow. Let's go for five. Five's a nice little medium to start with. And we're going to want to use some of that yellow from the car design. Just to colour match it for the sake of propriety. And we're going to duplicate that. And then we're going to backfill it with black. And then we're going to move it. To go, pop goes the weasel. Ooh. That's too heavy, I think. Mm, yeah. It feels too big. So if we cut it back there, it's still, the black feels a bit oppressive that way around. What if, and, and hear me out, we go with the black. Uh, no, no, I don't I think did, that was I did what you meant to do. No, more mistakes. Uh, Okay, I'm really confused as to what I've just done. Me too. Oh, I copy-pasted it away from where it should be. Okay. Oh. I am a dumbass. That is a fair assessment of me. Okay, so, right, okay, that makes more sense. 
Okay, sorry. Layers get confusing sometimes and my brain hurts. So going with the... Ah, see, it just feels a little bit too... There. Like, almost stand... Also, Sheriff is no longer looking like a word. I know, right? You look at it for long enough and it stops looking like the actual word, even though it actually is. Okay, so a grey drop turn in there. It's alright, but it's not particularly interesting. I don't think this works at all. So we'll ditch that as a concept. It looks like something, looks like something you'd see of a comic book. Yeah, it looks too cartoonish, which is fine. This is what experimentation is. It's where you try to work out what you actually want to use. So we know this works, but it's too big. So I need something thinner than this. Do I have a thinner version of that font? I do. But I think it's not... It... Let's try the same thing again, but with the thinner one. Okay? Just, just for sake of testing. I want to see what it looks like. So we'll drop it down. There we go. Play with me like cats and a string. You don't understand the pain of pain. Hmm. It looks more manageable. We'll, we'll try it yeah. for a second. We'll see where this goes to. Now, I do want to drop it, but I think I'm going to do it slightly differently. So we'll duplicate that. I'll pop this out. Let's make sure it's balanced properly. Now, to stop it looking quite so horrifically heavy, what I'm going to do is go alpha to selection on this one. Two. What do you think? I like. It's kind of cut back slightly on the overall boldness because it's going to the, 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 the be white with yeah. it too. Uh, mm. I think it's too much. Yeah. 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 It's too. It's too bright. It is too bright, but at the same time, it's the same color as it's gonna be, which is the weird part. Yeah. I'm telling you, same color as it's always been, which is even weirder. This is the problem. Why does it look so odd? Uh, I think the letter is too long. Possibly. Maybe. That could be part of this. It's I was thinking that the width was like... Yeah, the sheriff just doesn't look like a word anymore. No, it doesn't. That's the thing. After you look at a word for so long, it just stops becoming a word. And you end up very confused and uncertain as to why things are the way they are, and why the universe is upside down, and why there's a cat in your face. It's just D, but it's fine. Yeah, that does happen. So I need a shorter letter, I think is our goal here. Because I think the tall letter's not looking right. It becomes too dominant. So, that's to, like, soccer or football banner. Thomas, reasonable, but I think we can do better still. What do we have here? I realise this is turning largely into a what front is best approach, but this is how I work. There's a lot of that work involved in actually creating something interesting is trying to find the right look. And often you'll have plenty of really bad options, but you'll occasionally find something that says, yes, this is the one I want to use, and I think this might actually be the one, because mm. it's the cleanest. So, yeah. we'll leave the letters bit. No, we'll bring the letters back slightly. I'm going to give it a bit of a... tilt. And... let's try something a little different. Rather than going down the other avenue, we'll make it slightly smaller outline. We're going to go with grey. Stay with me. No, we're not. No. No, no, we're not. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, that actually doesn't look that bad. I mean, no. But it's not right yet. Boom. 
Mm -hmm. That works. And also emphasizes the grey on Villa L. It does indeed. Bit of a right. Uh, lay group. Alright, so we'll make a lay group. We'll toss all these items in there. So that I can move them around as one. And that solves my problem. Now, we need City of Los Santos. Is the important part. Or Los Santos County. So, I want it, yeah, rather than City, we're going to have it as the county. Because it's going to be, obviously, it's the county sheriff. So. Da -ba -da -ba. Okay. Now, do we go County of Los Santos or do we go Los Santos County? Oh. Los Santos County. Yeah. Okay, so we have some lettering here. I want it to be smaller, I want it to be simpler, so we're just going to go with most likely the black here rather than grey. Mm -hmm. Give ourselves a cleaner, simpler look to that secondary text, and of course it hasn't taken it because why would you work properly? There we go. That'd be too easy. There we go. It would. Uh, let's toss a similar italic on it. Okay, so do we want to go on top? Do we want to go on the bottom? Oh. I forgot what the old one was. What's the old one? The old, the old one, one was, on top was bottom, one. I believe. We can go top then. Was it? I know I'm questioning myself. You should be. Okay, so that works for that. Usual. Alright, so we'll go to our grouping. And let's get our map in place here. Balance this angling on the car. I think this is going to be right. I just compare it against the bottom door sill, which is usually my metric for the angle for text and things on a vehicle, is balancing things by the door or the bottom of the vehicle because that's typically the angle it will sit at and show you how it's going to look. So this is too big. We're going to scale this back slightly. Just because it looks far too large of a vehicle as it was. We're going to balance it with the actual badge on the door there. Okay, so we're centering it off that rear letter in there, so we'll duplicate this. And we're going to balance the far side as well. I'm not going to change the italic angle of this one because I like it to be consistent. So rather than having it kind of go forward on both sides, it can go back on this side. That's totally fine. But we're going to use this to kind of balance our metric there. But we are going to move the Los Santos County part to the rear. Oh. This has got some looks to it. Okay. Yeah. So we need a few extra bits and pieces to this. So let me cut this here. No, go away. I do want to go with the LASD kind of tagline, motto, whatever you want to use mm -hmm. it, because I, I did that for PD, and I rather enjoyed having that on their car. So they can't have all the fun. Plus, I have Are a special you can also put in a special phone number in? Uh, no, but I'm putting a vehicle number on the cars, but it's going to be an amalgamation of all our call signs, just simplifying. Oh. So it's not anybody in particular, but it just gives a kind of number. I know we yeah. can't have multiple numbers or numbers for every single vehicle, but it can... It'll work. It'll look fine. Yeah. Right. Need something scripty that's not too horrific that you can still technically read it. This is always the problem with this sort of thing. Script fonts are a fucking pain to yeah. find. See, I, I know you guys would want this to be some sort of trimmed down, hyper edited video showing like time lapses of me working, but I actually think you'll probably find more from me just doing this. Uh, one second. Right, research completed. So I was wrong. That doesn't look terrible. Hmm. It's gonna be artistic at the best of times, anyway. So what the hell did I just do to that? Yeah, uh, I was gonna say. Um, the oh, sheriff is looking here. a little. Yes, uh... it stuffed it in there. So this would be this one. Okay, get back up there. Yeah, it looks right. Cool. 
Let's leave that alone. Now, I need to know whereabouts in the car this is going to be sitting. But I also need to make some squiggles, because squiggles are important. Absolutely, I agree. So we also need... Wrong year. 1950, I was going to say that's a bit recent. LASD is since 1850, so... Cease. Buttons are hard. Say. Quiet. And that's the wrong colouring as well, so we'll fix that. That's easy. Now, I will need to quickly put this in place so I can use this as a reference just to kind of centre everything here. Nice and quick, because I need to make some squiggles. So, for squiggles, those are fun. I want it to be a flourishy little squiggle. So, I'm going to make a ball. You mean to put that into the SO logo folder, by the way? No, I didn't. Oh, it, it does it automatically. Sometimes when you're near a layer group, it will do that. Uh, so, I need to get my pen tool. Wherever the hell I hid that, since I reinstalled it, I can never quite find where my stuff is organized. Squiggledy wiggledy woo. Squaggle. Squaggle. That is an accurate term. Scientific. It is scientific. Yeah, I was looking at like a science diagram and it came up with the word squaggle. I think I would just close the book and throw it out. I, I don't know. Maybe that's a good book if it has squaggle in it. Maybe it, it, some words are hard to define. This does seem like a squaggle. It is a squaggle. It is absolutely a squaggle. As far as squaggles go, it's the most, world's most uneven squaggle. But we'll get but there eventually. Squaggle. It is. We'll get there eventually. I'm just trying to establish how the squaggle's going to look. And that's the problem, because I... As much as I want the squaggle to look a certain way, I'm going to, to nap it up. Which means I'm going to cheat. Welcome to art. Hell yeah. Art is deeply about cheating. No, stop clicking buttons, you stupid. There we go. Alright, that looks terrible, so we're going to fix it. Nice and easy. Go away, that. Okay. Let's grab a regular brush tool because I will fix this myself, so help me God. not squiggly enough. Yeah. This is the sort of thing you need a pen for. I'm just going to take the standard approach artists have used throughout the centuries. Well, since the internet. Google. In the fine tradition of cheating, we're doing just that. So, let's blow this up. Uh, percentage. We'll go 300% because we're feeling baller tonight. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So this is how they do their squiggle, and how they have that worded. I quite like how they do this, so I'm going to use the same sort of design. You can't copyright a squiggle. Nice try. <laughs> so, pen tool. Go to about here, go to about here, here. Okay, we'll flourish that up there. Down there. D wrong anchor. Up there. Mm, right here. 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 At the peak there. And then we'll go from that. Okay. Nice and easy. You have to kind of work out ballpark where curves are going to behave themselves best. I will never purport to be the world's best artist, but I am competent and I'm happy with that competency. We'll tidy this up once we're done with it. So that needs to be the recurve segment there. And we'll tidy this up when we're done with it. Because it's going to be a lot smaller, so it'll be fine. Right, let's move that off that. And we'll tidy this up real quick. It's not big, but it's going to do the job we want it to do. We want something that will fit that kind of cursive styling to fit alongside. There's a kink there that needs to go away. There we go. Bingo. Cool. We have a little cursive doodad. Because cursive doodads are important. These are technical okay. terms. 
they are absolutely technical terms. That is a guarantee. And that's now a too big one, which is on purpose, because I can now scale it down. Oh, gosh. It's like a mustache. I love it. It's like a temporal mustache. Very profiles there, you need to just redo this livery, but with a um, person's face on it and just make that the mustache. Yes, it'll just be Levi McClopper's face. Yes. Okay, so... Where did I put this on that line? I put it above it. Okay. How far away is it there? It's about that far away. Yes, this is how we get technical in the art world. Just eyeball it or measure with a selection box just to kind of have a look. Okay, this whole bit looks a bit too... large. So let's scale that back slightly. And it's not even because I selected it badly. So we'll do that. And now it is selected perfectly. A traditional service is fine. Let's just move that down. And we now have that to do, Dad, which I'm going to scale properly to go on the car. Progress. And it could do with being big enough, but not too big. So I'm going to drop it down here. I think I want to put it on the bottom of the door. That's my kind of idea, or the bottom of the actual frame. But I think it might be a bit cut there by the door frame. I could put it here, but that would look a bit weird. So we'll, we'll try scaling it a little bit further and see how it looks when we make it smaller. Rotate that to match. That will do. Nope, not quite far enough. A little bit more. Boom. Okay. And that's going to be on the bottom of our door there. This may end up getting cut off. We'll have to see how it looks. Mm, it's not, not, not too bad. No, not too bad at all. Now, the one thing I really hate, and I don't know why I've turned into this, is uh, the lettering on the roof. Kind of looks like crap, so we're going to make it go away. I don't know when I became Russian, but there you go. And we are changing oh. our acronym. To the one we wanted to use in the first place. Yeah, yeah. And I have no idea which lettering I ended up using. You know what? That's kind of perfect. You know what? Yeah, I love it that stenciled style. Oh, that's slightly cursive. I don't know if it's going to be a bit too dramatically different from... Yeah, it would be. It would be. It's just straight lettering to be seen from the air. So, uh, layer transform counterclockwise. Boom. And this should be about here, I think. Based on my extensive scientific principles, about there. Too different. No, too different. It does look nice, but it doesn't really match. Correct. It looks good, but it just doesn't fit the rest of the aesthetic, so we need to change that briefly. Shouldn't be complicated. We'll just quickly flick that to... I don't even remember what font I use now for the rest of the work, which is probably a great it was start. It's not that one. It's not that one. So I knew what it was, but I've forgotten what it was. Which is a great way to do this. Forgetting what you used. The perfect way to do it. It is. It's, it's so freeing. There we go. Let's put this up a bit more. That's too heavy compared to what I, I used. I think it was a thin one. That's all I remember. There wasn't a thin one for that. But there is amongst... Where is it? Down here, maybe? That's yeah, very much not it. We'll find something just similar enough and it'll do. Uh, that's actually perfectly hmm. fine. A bit more angular, but it'll do. There we go. Drop this into position. Make sure it is evenly spursed on the roof and... I think we are good to check that out. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to put this into game, which uh, 
is a fairly simple process. So I need to first export this. I'm going to save my work first. Uh, hang on. Saving's uh, important. Before you save that. Uh, are you wanting to make sure the quote is only on one side of the vehicle? No, it will be on both. I'm just putting it on one to see how it fits. Ah, okay. That's Fair one enough. of those things. Don't do twice the work if you can only do it once and right. So, new explorer. We're going to save this one to that. Cool. Wonderful. Open IV. Okay, tools, search file, and texture editing. Uh, going to go down to... F. Is this the right one? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So main pack. Uh, main pack is here. Looking for Leo three. Boom. Uh, number four. Place that with wherever the heck the explorer is located. Bit of media development. Ag. In-house, New Explorer. I'm looking for LSSD 2023. A boom. Oh, I've left the white on it. We can fix that. I always like to leave them color changeable because it saves actual resources. Because if you're not actually filling that with pixels, it ends up as a smaller file. Which is more efficient. Obviously, I'll scale it to match the others when it's going in, because never use 4K in GTA. That's just going to cause brain damage. I'll see you in game in a second. Yeah, so my keybinds for some reason keep turning on. So let's get rid of the sports car I just spawned underneath the car. That's so this usually is what we have. useful. The wording I like. It's similar, but it's it's refreshed. I think I want to put a, maybe a border behind the badge. It feels like it's just a thin border. But something just to pop it out from the actual background because it feels like it's a little bit lost in there. So, possibly a little bit of a border on there. I like the white lettering on the back. That was good. The tradition of service fits where it is. And looks decent, I think. It's small, but it's recognisable. Lettering on the roof. Eh, it could do with improvement. We'll get there. But in general, that looks okay. Now, let me quickly save... Give you a direct comparison. It just looks more polished, I think. That's the kind of overall look I was going for with this. It was polish. Not a big change, but enough change that it's it's interesting. It keeps mm. the same aesthetic, but it's also... Yeah, which of these looks better to you? I do really like the yeah. new one. The new one. It's, it's the same, but it's different, but it's slightly improved. But I just think the lettering looks cleaner. It looks tidier. I might drop it down a little bit, I think. That could probably benefit it and move the badge slightly down as well. I think it's a little too high up where it is, at least on the Explorer. But, you know, that's what it is. Maybe a bit bigger. That could also help. But this is how I go about doing the actual development side of this. It's a lot of trial and error, as you've seen. There is no shortcut. Now, if I'm directly copying something, yeah, I can just copy something. That's easy. But when I want to create something different or something unique... Or even something just an amalgamation of different designs. Obviously, this is based on El Paso Police, the base livery. A lot of it is very different in terms of how it operates and looks. But the whole goal is to try and create something that feels like mine. Something that feels interesting. I will most likely do some work on the lettering on the back because I'm just not happy with it. But those are small nuances that you don't really care about. Let me see what you guys think. I quite like this. I'm not necessarily sure on the traditional service font. That might change. But I do like having it on the car somewhere. It'll work a lot better on other vehicles where there's more space. The Explorer is just a little bit cramped in terms of what it has there. But I think this looks good. Anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you for Jack for being the critical uh, queen in the background. Yeah. Making comments <laughs> and helpful uh, insight. And uh, see you next time. Bye. Not just Bye. Me, but... Bye.